Hi Cancer, welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. If it does, I will do an extended at the end of this reading as well. Now let's start. First let's shuffle the deck four times for you, but let's see what we have at the bottom of the deck for you. Let's see what is your card, main card for this reading. The Lovers. It is telling me that if you are thinking about somebody, they are your twin flame. If you are single and you are not thinking about somebody, you will be around a twin flame connection very soon. But let's get let's get details and before jumping to the reading, let's uh, shuffle four times. Okay, starting with what is in your subconscious at this moment? What is affecting you? Justice. You want balance, you want harmony, a mutual connection, a give and take relationship. If some of you were divorced, you are thinking about a legal issue. But mostly, for most of you, I'm getting that thinking a lot about how it was so hard to be in that balanced, harmonious connection that you envisioned and wanted. How unfair it was. Now let's see about the challenge of the past. What was that? Ten of Swords. Unfortunately, a painful ending. Possibly a betrayal. It may have been felt like a, a very harsh betrayal, not expected at all. Uh, it may have happened in a way that not only hurt you deeply, but it came in a way that you didn't think about. In fact, I do believe that you were getting signs of all this long time ago. With a Ten of Swords, this may have been avoided if you cut the connection completely the moment they crossed those healthy boundaries of yours. But possibly you were giving chances after chances to them and wanted to just believe in the best version of theirs. And then this is what happened. But looking at this in a more positive aspect, this has been a very growing, better experience for you. You are a different person, I think, uh, now. In a better uh, maturity, you look things... You are not as naive as you were before this connection. I see you more mature, knowing better what you want, what are your boundaries, and not letting anything disturb your inner peace or inner happiness anymore. I see your intuition being much better. Let's see at the bottom, the chariot. King of Cups, Two of Cups, okay. This hurt more because it was a soulmate connection and you had real feelings for them. You wanted progress, but there were some big differences here. Someone wanted to move this way, the other person the other way, and not having a mutual understanding of the vision, of the connection for the future. But how do you view the situation with them? The magician, you think the attraction is there, but there's no point on showing interest in them anymore. Either it happened a rejection in the past or you think a rejection may happen or in the best case scenario it, it's not worth the time anymore. And the love was there but they kept the silence and they showed no interest. Page of Pentacles. The Temperance. You want more balance, harmony? 
you want to talk with a mature, serious partner that wants something serious for the future. That has the idea that, okay, let's see where this is going, but the intention is not just to have fun, not anything casual, but the intention is to see if we can build something serious or I want a serious connection. Let's see where this relationship is going or knowing each other. Your hope is that there will be movement forward and as soon as possible. That will be a change, a positive change in this energy, in this love energy. And that you will meet a partner that not only is mature but has attraction. That desires you, is passionate, but you have a small fear as well. And that fear is that this partner may be inconsistent and not reliable. Now let's see about your current energies. Let's see what do we have here about the current energies. Some of you will be dealing or have been dealing with Scorpio. I have Capricorn as well. Aries was here, Libra. Now it can be any sign, but the current energy is that the connection ended because it was highly toxic. The premise was there for building a happy long-term connection with that Ten of Cups. That was the big dream. But they were acting so independent. There was a chance given here. So what I'm getting here, it was highly toxic. You may be aware of that, but it is important to emphasize this, that this connection had many unhealthy patterns in it. And yes, the desire and the attraction may have been the highest and may have been one of the most intensive connections, but not healthy. Let's see about in the near future, what is the energy for you? in the near future, meaning the next week or let's say those next weeks till one month. Six of Swords, the Chariot. While you keep moving away, you will find a better, more mature water sign. I have Cancer here emphasized but seems like a very promising connection to you. But there's some movement distance. Oh, I don't see any reconnection with you and them, the person on your mind. But I see you going near a more harmonious connection. Yes. Look at this. The Chariot, King of Cups, Two of Cups, Queen of Wands. It's a more... It, this connection that is near you, I don't know if you will grab this opportunity or this other person will grab it, but there's a high chance for you to come together and meet and there's a big potential here. Now, Two of Cups tells me that there's attraction and love there, but it promises for more stability and for a more solid connection here. It's not a, as that much intensive and passionate and not toxic as the last one. Anyway, some of you may be still thinking about this person on your mind, what they are thinking about you. What do they think about you right now? What are their thoughts? What are their plans? Now, I see you keeping the distance from them with that Six of Swords and going to a better path. But what are they willing to do? What is their current energy? Keep in mind that this is always free will and the time frames may change, but we are talking about the current moment, if everything goes in this energy. Let's see about them.
they definitely are watching you from afar and they have the uh, this idea of sending a message through social media maybe sending a message to one of your social accounts social media accounts they want to offer you love but they are still indecisive why are they indecisive? because the truth has been revealed and they may have been thinking about another person as well is this queen of cups real? okay they think they have feelings but still they are not sure I'm not exactly sure if they want to convince themselves that they still do have feelings and love for you and they are misinterpreting this for their attraction that is still present from their side but the desire to communicate is here yes to reunite they keep watching you with the intention to find the right time to talk and hopefully after this conversation to lead to some reunion they know about your desire to build something serious and long term they know about your dream that was to, to build something stronger they know that you may still be bothered and anxious and stressed about them and are cold and very logical not wanting to appear weak and emotional towards them that's the impression they have for now now I will continue this reading in the extended with more details if this resonated with you I will talk about their feelings, how they view you, their intentions about mutual energies, your energies and other details as well thank you for watching, see you in the next reading and bye for now